Welcome to Dance for Kids with Iris. This is your time to imagine, create and dance. Hey there, my name is Iris, the helpful describing robot, and this is Kate. Hey Kate, I love your pink dungarees. So Kate, I really enjoy describing things using words. I help everyone in the house by audio describing their dancing. Kate is a BSL interpreter and she will be interpreting my words into sign language so everyone can get creative with their dancing. We're in a plain white space at the moment. Shall we find out where we are dancing today? Get ready to knock. Hmm, through the letterbox. It's very pink and purple in this room. There's a comfy armchair and a bookcase, a cosy tent where someone's been reading books. There's a circular window with cream coloured curtains and fluffy clouds, stars and purple streamers hanging and dancing from the ceiling. I think we're in the snug. Oh, and there's Emily. Emily's wearing some funky orange dungarees and looking at a little plant, but she looks a bit sad. Oh no, the tiny leaves have all fallen off. Don't worry, Emily. Christian, who takes care of our garden, told me that this happens as the seasons change. The seasons are different parts of the year, influenced by the weather and temperatures. They are caused by the earth rotating and being closer or further away from the sun. In some parts of the world, they have two seasons, wet and dry, and in others, they have four. Should we do a dance about the seasons? Yeah? Let's do a dance that you can hear. I'm going to talk and tell stories about different things in the seasons. You can follow my voice or Kate's interpretation. But if you want to join in with Emily, then she'll be dancing too. We're going to begin in springtime, a time when things begin to grow and spring into life like seeds will start gathered in tight then slowly grow reaching towards the light let's begin by finding the smallest shape you can make today emily who's on the floor has curled up into a tight ball with her knees to her chest and her arms wrapped around her legs you can squeeze in tight if you like the sun through the window in here is warming me up very slowly, imagine yourself start to grow. It can be a wiggle in your fingers or toes. Feel the parts of your body that have been close together start to open up. Slowly, we're finding a bigger position. A gentle spring breeze stirs the air, blowing through your fingers, toes and hair. Imagine a gentle breeze blowing on you. Maybe you could even blow on yourself to help with your movement. Gentle breaths in and out. Start to sway like the breeze. Imagine it's blowing over your body and making you move more. You can sway and rock side to side. Energy is building up like flowers about to bloom and leaves about to emerge. Swaying and stirring with the warmth the sun brings, ready to grow and spring, spring, spring. Like the plants and trees that burst into life in spring, let's make some tiny bursts using our hands and fingers. You can burst and spring your hands into the air. Or if you like, why don't you find tiny bursts all over your body, like little fireworks. It's getting warmer in here. I think it's time for summer. The days are longer and the sun is always about. Time to relax, lay back and stretch out. We've done all the hard work of growing in spring. So now I think it's time for some summer sunbathing. Stretch your arms and legs away from your body to find a wide star shape. If you want to, you can make a big star shape lying back on the floor like Emily, or relaxing back into your chair. Ah, nice and relaxed and stretched. 
sunny days and trips to the sea. Should we imagine the sand on a soft beach? In our big star shape, let's start to imagine sand beneath us and make some prints with our body. You can roll to the side from your big star shape. You can press down into the sand. You are nice and heavy. How does the sand feel against you? Sandy hands and sandy feet. Let's shake off the sand to the sound of a beat. We're all sandy now. You can stay on the floor or sit up, but it's time to shake, 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 shake. Keep shaking off that sand. Shake it off your hands or shake it off your feet. Slow, big shakes or quick little shakes. Shake off that sand. Shake, 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 shake. Lovely. The summer sun is fading and it's getting colder. I think it's time for autumn. Autumn's a time for winding down. Let's find hands like leaves falling to the ground. Let's float our hands up to the sky, then let them fall and flutter down like falling leaves. Gentle, swirling, fluttering and falling. Then one by one, place each leaf gently into the floor. Open your hands wide and press each fallen leaf down into the ground. Keep pressing hand over hand. What lovely leaf patterns, everybody. We've made a crunchy carpet of leaves, red, yellow and brown. Let's swish, brush and throw, making them fly all around. Ah, my favourite, it's time to play in the leaves. Let's use big sweeping brushes along the floor that kick up the leaves. Brush, brush, brush. Big and smooth long brushes with our hands or our feet. If you like to be neat and tidy, why not sweep the leaves into a big pile? Or just brush them up into the air and imagine them floating all around. leaves are going now and it's starting to get chilly. It's winter time. Oh, it's very cold in here. Cozy scarves, woolly hats and gloves. Let's warm ourselves up with lots of rub rub rubs. Using our nice warm hands, let's rub along our arms and body, warming yourself up again. You can rub your hands together to make them nice and toasty or rub along your arms to build that heat. Glistening snow piled up on the ground. Gather it up in a ball, ready to throw around. Snowball time. How far can you throw a snowball? Whoosh. It's getting cold and dark. In winter, animals hibernate, nestling down until spring, they curl up and wait. Let us gather ourselves in again like we began, curling up and into your smallest shape possible, ready to emerge again in spring. So, that was a little journey through the seasons. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't worry, Emily, the leaves on your plant will grow once more. Just wait until spring and see what it has in store. 
Thank you, Kate, for interpreting my words into sign language. And thank you at home for sharing some of your dance moves. Remember, we don't all have to dance the same moves to be able to dance together. So, don't forget to let your friends know about us. Bye!